Okay, so it's been a couple of weeks since FM released their release date. Today, we've got some new features for you to enjoy. So make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment at the end of the video to let me know which is your favorite new feature. Let's do this. Right then, here we go. We're gonna watch the video and then we're gonna see what we can see when we slow it down. Let's go. I haven't watched this, by the way, yet. I have not seen anything about it, so let's do it. Live reactions. Take control like never before. Well, you can start a new game still. That's good. That was very quick. Back from staff. Back from staff are back. There's a transfer policy still. Unearth the hidden superstars. And eat one kids. Steal the headlines. Oh, well, it's like a new transfer deadline thing. Okay. Still make offers. One that could send back 55 million. Who could that be? It's a data hub. Hopefully, the, hopefully there's more analytics in the game. Innovate your tactics. Centre defender. Wide centre back. Okay. Any Chris Wilder tactics? Any lovers of you? Out, go there, this is yours. 3D match engine looks exactly the same. And there we go, available from November the 9th. Well, we're gonna watch it again, but we're gonna slow it down. The only thing I really noticed there was the wide center backs. So we'll slow it down, and we're gonna go through it bit by bit. So here, as you can see, career, creator club, online career, fantasy draft, versus coming in 2022. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. That's obviously, I'm assuming, something to do with online play. That's good. They need to, they, on, the online isn't good enough. It's not up to scratch. So if they've worked on it this year, SI, mwah, thank you. You've, oh, thank you. Let's see what else. I mean, that looks more in-depth. That's a lovely monobrow there as well. But the hair and the beards look like they've improved the graphics on that. Anything else we can see? Coaching, recruitment, development, staffing. Um, tra there's a new transfer policy, maybe. Super superstars. Okay, would be superb signing. Four star. I don't see anything different here yet, though. Still nothing too mad yet. I lo this looks interesting. So there's like a new deadline day feature where you can do like an hour or two hours, three hours. I don't know. I'm excited to see what that is. Just more... I'm assuming that's like a player vision, maybe? Make smart decisions. Oh, we will. The data hub. What could that be? Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Key findings. Overall match momentum, we were under pressure for a lot of the match. Last match passes, we need to focus down the left. Last match XG performance, XG is making a return. We were worse than our opponents at creating good opportunities. Okay. So it looks like they're going to be adding more analysis into the game so you can improve the, li the little things you want to improve and like really look at the tactics and stuff and let's see how they're playing. Anything new on here? Um, danger of possession. Okay, so you can see when you're in possession and... I'm not sure what this little purple one would mean. I'm not sure. Maybe that's the other team. The pass map. This is need to be... There was a massive problem with this in FM21. If they've improved it again, absolutely brilliant. Did we see any... Well, let's look at what the description is for wide centre back. The main job of the wide centre back is to stop the opposing attackers from playing... And to clear the ball from danger when required. However, unlike standard central defenders, the wide centre back is encouraged to stay wide in possession and support the midfield more like a fullback. So it is going full Chris Wilder. Underlapping centre backs are a thing in FM22. There's no new positions yet. Yeah. Can't see anything different here, really. The goals are fairly, fairly similar. It did say work in progress at the bottom right. So there we go, guys. A few things, not too much changed, 
Wide centre backs, the main thing there. I'm very excited to use them. I've started using three at the back a lot this year, so they will definitely be going on at some point. Um, maybe a player vision. I think I saw something about the player wants to do this. Um, maybe they're going to upgrade that a little bit. More analytical data in the games. Everything here looks incredible. I'm very, very happy. I actually can't wait for them to give us more information. Yeah, if you, if you did enjoy the video, guys, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell so you never miss a video. We will be uploading more of these every time they announce new features. So hit that like button, hit the follow, or the subscribe button, and do all your good stuff. Also, guys, I do stream on twitch.tv forward slash looneyhoon. Go drop me a follow over there. I stream every weekday morning, 8 a.m. So yeah, come over there, drop me a follow, hang out with me in the mornings, start your mornings the right way, and I'll see you soon, guys. Peace.